Hello everybody, this is Michael Smiley coming at you with another review video. Um, today I'm going to be talking about Once Upon a Time. And I can't believe that I haven't talked I haven't talked about this series um, before on my YouTube channel, but here it goes. Once Upon a Time aired on e um, ABC, the ABC network. And um, obviously it was a huge hit. It involved all of the characters in Disney, in all, all of the Disney series, basically, besides The Lion King that I know of. And um, they really utilized the characterization and really um, twist and turn all the different characters and has one of the best storylines of any um of any show or any any movie slash show whatever uh, the writers did such such an incredible job um they really kept the pacing up they they really um gave every character a really sense of belonging um, and an important role in the bigger picture. Every single person was part of the bigger picture. And <clears throat> I think that it was um, so, so rich with story and so detailed. And I do um, like the special effects were really great for a TV show. The costumes were really stunning. Um, oh, sorry, guys. it's been a long day. Um, I've been having a lot of this lately. Um, I've been in and out of the hospital visiting because my mom's had, uh, some medical issues going on. Um, so... It's been really stressful, so I've been really restless. So anyway, getting back to um, getting back to Once Upon a Time. Um, so this show uh, started off because so this is the reason why I love Once Upon a Time so much, other than like the story and its great characters, obviously. Um, <clears throat> So, like, in Snow White, you see Prince Charming and Snow White singing to each other for, like, five seconds in the beginning of the video movie, and then he shows up at the end and kisses her to wake up, and it's true love and everything, but how is it true love? He's, and you really forget about his first scene that he's in. You only remember the kiss that he gives her at the end to wake her up, so. <clears throat> but this show uh, really gives them rich history, and they, they didn't even like each other when they first met. They didn't even meet on good terms, I should say, not even dislike each other, but they didn't meet on good terms. And <clears throat> the love actually grew. Um, and it was very progressive, like, the story is a very progressive story. Um, so anyway, so all these, um, Disney characters that you don't see an ending for, like Snow White, I mean, obviously we know that she wakes up, but, like, it doesn't show anything else. Um, they kind of ride off into the sunset. Well, that's not really how it works. And so, Once Upon a Time took it upon itself to write the most lavish, amazing stories about um, Prince Charming and Snow White. And the the show actually starts off at their wedding, and <sighs> Queen Regina shows up, the, the evil queen, and um, she curses all of the... Uh, all of the Disney characters. Everybody from Cinderella to Snow White to, you know, Mulan. And <clears throat> so 
she basically gets the last laugh because she creates, with a curse, a town called Storybrooke that is completely shut off from the rest of the world and only exists for the um, for the Disney characters. And <clears throat> so, it, like, it starts off at Prince Charming and Snow White's wedding, and then it really deep dives into things. Um, you have Rumple, you have Belle, um, a twist fate in there that Rumple, who was kind of scary looking, was Beast, and Belle was obviously Beauty from Beauty and the Beast. And <coughs> I really love how they made that kind of a twist with the show. Um, I, I'm not much of a spoiler person, so I'm not going to spoil much for you. Um, but... Um, I, I really loved their epic love story, and it's it's not all mush and everything, because that's not how the real world works. They have real problems, they deal with real things, they have real issues. Like, all the characters, yes, they have their own stuff going on, but everything plays a part in the bigger picture. And the creators and the writers did... A phenomenal job with really stringing all the pieces together to to tell the story and to make you really <sighs> to make you really feel for these characters <clears throat> um believe it or not so <laughs> my favorite villains are the villains that you can sympathize with because they were traumatized by life that happened to them that made them the way that they are um, versus a power hungry person that's the villain because when you're power hungry and everything it doesn't put much weight into your story when and, and you really don't care about them you're like okay let's move on but, I mean, besides Palpatine from Star Wars, but that's a different story. Um, so, I really don't know how to explain this without really giving much away. So, <clears throat> I'll start off by saying that Regina as in the evil queen. So when I first started Once Upon a Time, of course I talked to my friends about it because it was, a, it was such a big show, everyone was talking about it. <coughs> and um, my friends were like, yeah, I love Regina and she's so great and but, you know, all this stuff. And I'm just like, oh, why? No, she's a terrible, terrible uh, character. Not, not a terrible character, but uh, like terrible person character um like she's done such evil things she's murdered people and she's been ruthless and just things that you really think are unforgivable and i used to you know tell my friends that i would question uh their morals and everything because like she, Regina was so horrendous, and I just didn't get it. It didn't click to me. Well, uh, and and the, they even took a hot minute to actually even start showing Regina's backstory. Like it, the well, the only flashbacks that it would show would be her murdering people, and then flash forward her doing bad stuff to the good guys. <clears throat> and you're just like, oh god, why do so many people like her? Because I was behind everybody um, at that point, and I very quickly got ahead of everyone because, like, this show is so, um, it, it really pulls you in, and you just go, 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 and you want to see every single second, you want to keep going, going, going to see these um, stories and these characters and where they're going to end up and 
Like, my favorite Disney character, or not my favorite Disney character, my favorite Disney movie was Aladdin, and they didn't even touch that story until season five, and I'm just like, oh, come on now. But, <clears throat> so, I have never watched uh, Frozen, but season four covered Frozen, the characters of Frozen came in, and that was actually my favorite season of the entire series. Yeah. I really love that season. <laughs> and there's and there was more emotion that was going on. There was more uh, it was really into the thick of things. Um <clears throat> and um yeah, a lot of really great stuff was going on at that time. And <gasps> And I really did like the Aladdin storyline that they did have and everything, and they did really good with that. Um, because Aladdin is my favorite of the Disney series, of, of like the entire, you know, cartoon Disney. Um, as really judgmental and everything, but they did good. I think they did really good, and I'm really um, happy that they did good because I didn't want such an amazing show to ruin that experience. And they didn't because when you think that um, the series can't, when you think that the writers can't come up with anything more, they do. And a lot more. And they just, it, there's so many twists and turns in the series and there's so many shocking revelations and so many events that are going on that you miss one episode or even 10 minutes and you're you're done you need to restart the episode and rewatch from the beginning because you're completely done with it because there's just so many so much stuff that's going on and you would miss things and that's what i really love and i really 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 do compare once upon a time <clears throat> to the vampire diaries not in the sense that there's any vampires or anything like that or even that the stories are remotely the same. Um, it's that once upon a time, like, The Vampire Diaries is my favorite, and it ran for eight, eight seasons on the CW. And it was so rich with story, character development, progression, uh, everything about The Vampire Diaries I absolutely love. And the same is said for Once Upon a Time. <clears throat> oh, and... And what really reminded me of that is, like, so many different shocks and twists and turns. And when you think one thing is going to go this way, it's going to go that way. And come in from left field and throw you up that way. Like, it's completely insane. And the storytelling is so great. <clears throat> um, so anyway, back onto this Regina business. So... <sighs> I hated her for for so... I didn't even start liking her until... Oh, boy. Season 2? And there's 22 episodes in a season, so I went, like, 22 episodes with hating this woman, this character. So much. <coughs> like, it wasn't even a... Like a... God. It was a... When is this woman getting off the screen? Because I'm just over her. Because every time she walks through a door, something bad is going to happen to one of my favorite characters. Well, twisted turn of events, she actually turned out to be my favorite of the series. By far. Um, I uh, absolutely fall in love with her character. She uh, She's a three-dimensional character. And she's... Um, she has her, her vulnerabilities, she has her weaknesses, but she is so strong, such a fighter, and, um, she, she really is the, the powerhouse, and it, it's so insane, because they really do make it so emotional, and I really do love that because they really attach you to the characters and the story and everything. <clears throat> so I'm really happy that they changed that 
that they could do such an amazing job from taking the worst character pretty much almost of any series and making her one of the best characters of any series <clears throat> and the actress is so amazing so um as I can say um like <clears throat> They even showed Rumpel's backstory before they showed Regina's. And they made you feel bad for him before they did her. But that, you know what? That's okay. Do Regina wrong because she'll come back and fight her, so whatever. Um, <clears throat> but. So. Every season has been really strong. The only season that they really struggled with, really, was the seventh and final season. But that's because all of the original actors and everything... Everybody thought that the sixth season finale was going to be the series finale, but ABC renewed it for a seventh season, and then they turned around and canceled it like, I don't know, what, midway through or whatever, when they were already half done filming the seventh season or something like that. So, um, but anyway, besides their ridiculous decision to cancel such an amazing show, I'm actually really glad that they did struggle with season seven and that they did make a season seven because the actual series finale which is the season finale of season seven, but also the series finale was so much better than the season six finale, in my opinion. It had so much more emotion going on, and it wrapped up the series, not only season seven, but it wrapped up the series so perfectly. And <coughs> I'm so glad that they, that they decided to make another one. Um, even though it wasn't my favorite season, it was still an entertaining season, and it was still good. It just was not up here where it should have been. It was more like right here. Um, and I don't really know what to say about it. Um, other than oh, the series finale, and of course I'm not going to spoil anything about that. Um, but they they could not have came up with a better series finale even if they tried just like the vampire diaries did like they put everything out there they connected everything together they ended everything on a note to where yes of course you want more but it's a satisfying ending door closed on that entire seven season chapter and, <clears throat> like I said, they kind of came up with a, with a better series finale for that show. And they wrapped out so perfectly. And um, the only spoiler that I'm going to give is that towards the end of season 7, after the good season that it was, they did eventually bring back you know, all the original characters that you grew to love and everything, and they did make it in a, you know, an emotional ending for um, some characters. I mean, it was emotional overall because you knew that the series was over, but um, everybody got an ending, and it was amazing. <clears throat> I absolutely think that it was just so stupid for um, ABC to cancel it. Um, yeah. But I can see why, because, like, well, they were stupid from switching the day that it aired from Sundays to Fridays. I think that that was a really not intelligent move. So, of course, they lost viewers and ratings and everything because they made such a stupid move. But <clears throat> um, 
they're lucky that they ended up the way that they did. And that doesn't even have anything to do with the network. That has to do with the, the writers, the creators, the actors, production crew, all of that. They, they are the ones that had to pull off such a magnificent ending to an excellent series that <clears throat> the studio was decided to end after they renewed it when everyone thought that it was going to end the, se the season before because they had came up with a game end plan. It seemed like a closure episode, and then, uh, I don't know. I don't know what the network bosses were thinking. They Maybe they had too many shots of a certain alcoholic beverage or something because, like, that's a stupid decision to continue with a show that everyone was prepared to end and then you not only um you not only shock them by renewing it for another season but taking off its for the last six seasons, it was airing on Sunday nights and at a certain time, and then all of a sudden it's going to be different time, different day. And, you know, that just ruins the whole audience because people work and, you know. <clears throat> so anyway, um, if you guys haven't checked out Once Upon a Time, I highly, highly suggest it. I uh, recommend it. Um, it is such an amazing show. If you're into story, into characters, it's an excellent show. <clears throat> it's on Netflix um, for the foreseeable future. So check it out. Seven seasons, 22 episodes. Binge watch. Anyway. <coughs> so yeah. If you like my review, make sure you comment below like subscribe to my channel and um let me know what you thought of the show if you had would have done anything differently um you know what you oh uh, hated didn't like would have done differently um what you would have liked to see because there's just so many different characters so you know maybe somebody didn't get the closure that you wanted or um let me know what you think of the series finale not just judge the seventh season because i know that um a lot of people have some criticisms about the seventh season but like let me know um how you felt about um the oh there's a mosquito about the um series finale and the different character arcs and everything. <clears throat> so have a great night, guys. Until next time.